from Hollywood, California at Cavatina in the legendary Sunset Marquee, it's the Comedy Kitchen Podcast. Hey everybody, it's Comedy Kitchen at the Sunset Marquee and here we are, Craig Shoemaker and my co-host Tony Luke Jr. from Philadelphia. Yeah, we're talking food and comedy. Yeah, sort of, uh, you need a menu when you create jokes, right? Yep. Need a menu, and also, what's the reverse of that? You need a uh, script. A script for when, com- you're, when you're cooking food. Oh, well, you need a recipe. A recipe. You that's need a what, recipe. That's what it'd be like. Well, listen, not Tony, a script. A recipe. Now, what you probably don't know is Tony has been in the restaurant business for years. But if you're from the Delaware Valley East Coast area, you already know Tony Luke's restaurants. And he's been on Franken Food and uh, on Spike TV. Spike TV. And he beat Bobby Flay. So this dude's got credentials. Comedy. Yeah, I've been doing it for a long time. But I am bringing comedians to you who are really great at their craft, and maybe they can talk to you about comedy, and they'll talk about food, and we have one of the best comedians out there. Ben Glebe is our guest. Thank you very much. Hello. (laughs) Give it up. Let's go. Give it up. Give it up. You're the only guest. making random stragglers applause (laughs) when people walking by. You're the only guest. Here for lunch. You're the only guest that's had applause so far. I like that. So you must be something. So, uh, yeah, Ben is really, really great at the craft. And as you can tell, he's one of the younger comedians, up and coming comedian, but he's already come. That didn't sound right. Sounded (laughs) terrible, to be honest with you. No one applauded that much. You know what I'm saying? You have such a way with words. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes I. I, 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 Makes words running high and say, please, are you done yet? (laughs) There's a thing we say in Hollywood. Tony called Fix It in Post. Wow. Hopefully I can be fixed in post. <laughs> so uh, we're talking about food and uh, we also, uh, I want to talk to Tony about comedy, about, the, now how did you get started in comedy? I mean, it's all I've ever wanted to do since I was like five or six years old. Wow. I was funny and I knew uh-huh. that I wanted to be a comedian and I just didn't ever develop skills to do much else. And <laughs> I uh, started in, at the end of high school, I had a radio show, and then in college, I had a TV show for all four years. Wait a minute, shows, wait a minute. Well, hold, hold on, you buried the lead on that one. You had your own radio show in high school? Yeah. Or was it the high school? It was the high school station. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. But it I aired to the too. whole city on like TV, yeah. It was nothing. Oh, was it? Oh, oh, so it aired? It aired, it aired. I was the just whole on a city. speaker, I was just out there going, okay. Uh, <laughs> There's no, gonna be was, a four hour was, lunch today at Springfield High School. This was legit. It was That's on legit. It, legit. It, 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 it on TV, but it would just be a blank screen with like a name of our show and you could hear the audio throughout the whole city. Really? And uh, did that and This then, is what city? This is in Beverly Hills. Oh, that's why they had a fancy TV talk, station. We're not going to talk peasant food. Well, we're slumming it. Okay, Beverly Listen. Hills is kind of slumming it. Yeah, let me just say, we had 90210 over here. It was South Central Beverly Hills. Okay. Like, 90212, <laughs> just north of Olympic, way south of Wilshire, just there for the schools. You know what I mean? Yeah. Lower middle class family. It was not so lower fancy. middle class. Yeah. Oh yeah. What'd your dad do for a living? He was a real estate broker, really property manager, and then when my grandfather died, he became a retail salesman at Robinson's May and then at a place called Savonar Luggage, selling luggage and rugs and stuff. Oh, so, okay, so you didn't grow up wealthy. No. What was, it, what was a meal like at the Glebe house? My mom would prepare every meal. Your mom was, okay. Breakfast and Old dinner school. and bag our lunch. Amazing cook. She kills it with chicken. Every kind of chicken you can make. I love chicken. Crushes it. I mean, she would just love do things chicken. with the skins and put orange peels on there. And like, it's hard for me to eat chicken without skin now because it's just, she would crisp it and it would be so good. It's the best I, part of the chicken. I'm with you on that. Yesterday I had a rotisserie. I happen to admit I will go to Costco for mine. I'm sorry, Tony. People love the Costco rotisserie chicken. I keep hearing about this. Mashed potatoes. No joke. Outstanding. Oh, no I'll joke. say it's like the best rotisserie chicken. I've never tried it. My, Costco makes great mashed potato as well. They right? make the best really rotisserie good. chicken. Yesterday I watched, uh, I was watching a game with a family and all the people Don't brag. Att- uh, all people attending said uh, you ate like there was a larger animal chasing you. That's, yeah. that's how much I was consuming. You never stopped eating. Oh, that's right. You were there. And he goes, you know what? I'm, I'm, I forgot I'm he was there. Plant, for a man who's plant-based, he went through nine rotisserie chickens. <laughs> He's game plant-based. I went plant-based. So by plant-based, he means the base is plant. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. The veggies on the bottom. But the, 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 the a, chickens are eating dead something from the plant. The chickens are eating the plant. Is that how you justify so it? It's it's kind. Of, it's Is that how you justify? They're kind of like my sponsor. <laughs> they're, they're the midpoint. You sound like Mike's girlfriend, who was vegan, and then every time she would have two drinks, she'd be like, "I want flesh of animals now. <laughs> Give me animal flesh in my body now." Plant based. It doesn't take me a single drink to go. I, it is Fair very enough. easy for me to go meat, but I did watch this this uh, movie called Game Changers and how strong people are when they're plant based. But I went, I go off of it. Not too often, but yeah, you're yeah, right. when I protein see a rotisserie. makes you weaker. In yeah, what like, world 
Yeah. What okay. protein? Why did I yell at you? I'm don't, sorry. Don't, 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 don't kill the messenger. <laughs> no, yell at him. Yell at him. It's fine. I, I yell at him all the time. I don't even think he has another volume. <laughs> Can I tell you my, my best Costco food tip? Yes. Yeah. So I like to throw up parties. I like to entertain in my house. Yeah. And I kind of designed my house built for entertaining. And I go to Costco every time I have a party, almost every time. And they have cocktail shrimp platter. You have like a hundred shrimp for 30 bucks. Yes. And mm-hmm. I have this awesome platter with like a hole in the middle, like a, a dip, a well, you recessed dip, dip area. Up. You take yeah. it off the standard platter. They take give it off the, the plastic standard bullshit one. plastic platter. And I put yeah. it, uh, and I put it covered in ice. And then I just drump all the shrimp in there and the sauce in the middle and the lemon wedges. And it looks like you're at a Vegas buffet wow. with shrimp. Peeled shrimp, not some of these bullshit you got to peel your own shrimp situations. <laughs> Dude. Where you get these shrimp and your hands smell like shrimp yeah, for, no, for you six don't months. No, you don't, you don't want, want to peel. No. And the people think they're the fanciest part of the world. They do not. They cost not every dollars. single person there knows they're going into your no, trash no can knows. to see the Costco, <laughs> to see the Costco no, plastic. I can not. guarantee you. I think every knows. single person is going would, through my trash. The second Glebo invites me to his place, I'm going to go into his trash. I'm going to say, oh, that's where he got that. There's a perfect reason not to invite him. Who invites me? Who invites you to their house and does that? Yes, I. Do you go through people's medicine cabinets too while no, you're there? I'm not, I'm not, oh, I didn't know you had herpes simplex nine. Do people? Until I, I went into your medicine cabinet. Apparently, people do that. My girlfriend's like, you know, people go through medicine cabinets, and I'm like, they do? Yeah, they do. I've never done that. I got a yeah. sign that says, "Get out of my medicine cabinet, you scum." Yeah. Right as soon as you open it. Oh, but you know what would be the best thing to do? I just thought of this right now. You, you, you put a you, video you put, yeah. camera in the thing, oh. and when they open it, they just see that blinking right at them. And are they going to tell you? Are they going to disable the camera? That's what are a they great idea. Do? That's awesome. That's I thought you were going to go idea. with my idea. Was you put things that are like uh, contagious? You know what I mean? Like, like coronavirus. The, you put all these you contagious. You put like the skull with the crossbones You put contagious on so then they see it, then they leave your party well, right away. Well, how would they know it's contagious? You don't even have to feed them. Would you have the word the contagious? Word contagious? No, 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 no. Like, how do they know it's contagious? Because like, oh, I opened up and there was some kind of contagion inside. Right. Right. Okay, Christ. I'll give you an example. If I had herpes medicine in there, if they then now they're not going to kiss me or they won't get near me. Something that has, you know that what's contagious and what's not, don't you? Am I off on this? Okay. I think the camera idea is a little bit simpler. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, you're you getting into the whole kind of contagion. I'm just trying to get rid of people. people leave your party, you don't know why it was. I'm trying to get rid of people, and Tony will agree with me because he said it yesterday. I, I hate people. Here's Tony, you have to admit it. Don't be Mr. Nice Guy now. What did I say? That's part of comedy. No, you gave this look like, oh my God, he's going to wrap me out. Suggest you it- said it yesterday, you hate people. I never said I hated people. Oh my God. I said I hurt, hate certain people. No, you said people at Everybody first. Everybody hates certain and people. And I pointed to you. <laughs> you That's now what I did. You. He, and I he's pointed- always like the nice guy. Tell, uh, tell me yesterday. He completely was telling me that he doesn't like people. Now, you both don't like people? Is what no, 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 we had this in common. How fake about you? news. This is fake news. Uh, okay. Fake podcast. I, I made it up. Okay. So ben, if you hate people, <laughs> maybe don't throw parties, first of all. <laughs> right. It's not a good thing. <laughs> a good way to avoid people is to not invite a lot of them over to your house at once. Right. I, I don't do that much. Anymore. My girlfriend's not a big fan of people. Really? Doesn't love people that much. Can I, I hang with her? Because we can have that in common. No, no, because no. she hates you. And You're by the person. way, she, at least she would admit that she hates people. <laughs> like Tony, who goes Fair back enough. the other way the next day. Fair I'm enough. a people person. Do you, now, in comedy, it's important to hate people, I think. Don't you think, Ben? You gotta hate at least good swaths of people, <laughs> <Yeah>. for sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You definitely so, get a pen and write this stuff down. Yeah. I have We're a trying mind to teach you like comedy. a steel Start trap. Hating okay. people, Tony. Swaths. Start hating people. Yeah. Pick your swaths. Okay. My swath. Yeah, we'll come to you with what a What the hell is this swath? We're going to create a quilt you for know, you of you know, hatred. You don't know what a swath is? It's so, uh, apparently, you've had no decorators at your house. They come over with the swaths of cloth. A decorator? I live in South Philly. Decorate. That's a swatch. That's a swatch. Apparently you don't know what a swath is. No, swath is no a one knows. swath is a is a is a group. A group, correct. It's a group. Correct. Which well, could be a group of, of fabrics. Of fabrics, that's true. <laughs> that's true. That would be swath. Because I know, I know living in South Philly, every day I heard, oh, so many swaths of people outside. I believe it. No one says that in my neighborhood. Well, swath. Well, you gotta get out of your neighborhood. That's what we're trying to get you out of the neighborhood. You can't just do comedy for your own people. Maybe if you ventured into other neighborhoods, you'd start hating people a little bit more. Exactly. Maybe that's a good Think point. About that. mm-hmm. You can't only stay in your comfort zone, Tony. This is a part of comedy. You have to start exposing yourself to other <laughs> to things. To people that you don't like. Your jokes can't all be about cheesesteaks, okay? 
No, actually, none of my jokes are about. Oh, yes, they are. You said have one. I've he's won. lying again. He's I have lying, one lying joke again. about Tell him the joke. Tell him a joke. Run it by him. Go. I said my kids bought me a juicer for my birthday. Because he's and I said heavy. I work in a sandwich shop. Do you know how long it takes to juice a cheese steak? Pretty good. I like that. That's good. Oh, that's pretty funny. It's better, I like that. It's better with an audience. I dig that. It's better with I love that. Didn't get the applause back to my intro, did? That's pretty good. That's pretty solid. I mean, it, it works. It works. Here's what works. He I makes like it. He makes it work. He's like got. He's got good delivery. He's a, he's a newcomer to comedy, but he's got good delivery. Yeah. How long have you been doing it? How long now? I don't know. You're asking about me. A year? This is your life. Not even. If you ask me, you hate people. About a so, year, maybe. If you're all, if you're a year or if so that. in, it's not too late to quit. Are you sure you're into this? By he way, forces me. Every single comedian that's come on our show tells him to stop. <laughs> and they haven't even heard his bad jokes yet. I don't yet. think we need any more comedians, so I have a very high bar Oh now. my I god, mean, that's the second time I've heard this. Yeah, yeah we, we don't, don't need more anymore. comedians, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to start screening them. Like, I'm against Trump's bans, but let's ban comedians. Let's ban, let's ban. You have to be uh, pre-approved. You have to be a, like, I, let's. I, one step further, put them in cages. Anybody wants to be. I don't mind that. Try to break comedians in, in cages to the kind comedy of business. Style. If they're trying to climb the wall yes. of the business. Actually, it put sounds them in like a, a Vegas act to me. Comedians in cages. Having coffee. <laughs> Having coffee. <laughs> Having coffee. <laughs> Circus style is not bad freak show. Here we've got an insult comic behind a box, and you just got him. You throw quarters at him. Now, you, you mentioned the word, that this is called a segue, Tony. Look that I know up. what it's segue French. is. I am okay. an actor. He, went, he mentioned the word comfort. So I what is your comfort, comfort is. food? Do you have a comfort food? Ooh, you, maybe ice you cream. Use? I love ice cream. Yeah? Really? Big ice cream fan. What kind? And my favorite flavor is one you can almost never find anywhere on earth. What is it? Banana ice cream. I love it. It's love, the best. Love. And no ice cream shop ever has And it. I hate, I'm not a big fan. I don't hate ice cream. I'm not a big fan of ice cream. Yeah. But banana ice the cream best. is the, the best. best. It's the best. And nobody oh, ever has it. Man. When they do, it's like cheap, fake, artificial flavor yeah. banana. I want real right. banana. Right. The only place you can really get it recreated is if you go to like Cold Stone Marble Slab type places and they smash banana into their Eat regular it. flavor oh. and then it tastes banana. But I don't know why people don't serve banana. It's like there's like a glitch in, in the system. Yeah. They don't want you to have that level of enjoyment in your life. It sounds like we should create our own you know, ice cream banana. I'm, I'm in on that business, right? by the way. In on that business. I'm in on it's that. A, that's a startup. Yeah. Here we have three people out of the blue who all hate people. <laughs> yeah. And we all love banana, banana. ice cream. More than Let's people. call the flavor bananas, not people. Bananas, not people. I love it. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> bananas for bananas humans. Bananas, so, not people. So you go on the road. Yep. Which we don't like the road. We're trying to tell Tony this. Is I don't not like the oh. road. I have to make peace with the road. It's a big part of my you life. Have to make peace with it. But it's yeah, not, it's not. It's not, not, it's not, not something. I'm not in yeah, love yeah. with the road after you know decades of doing it. But right. But I do it, and I if I was really hating it, I would be a miserable person. So I try to enjoy it best I can. Yeah, I, I I used to have peace with it, but now we're, it's our, the talks are broken. Away. The talks are broken. I hate flying? Yeah, I hate done. I hate everything about flying. Everything. I hate right. the whole experience of. Flying. I like flying. I don't Do mind. Do you flying. really? I mean, if you hate flying, it's fine. You can just aspire for your comedy career to be at its pinnacle. Bring your rooms with ten minute sets and, and then <laughs> five people per show. Never That's getting paid true. to do ben, it. Ben is showing you that comedians are diverse. He actually loves more things than most comedians. I do like things. Well, I do try to be as positive as I can. Good Otherwise, I would tear my hair out. You know, so I try. And you would look like me. That's what happened to Correct. Tony. He, Correct. He's, he's been doing it a year. My hair out. Yeah, one in week in the business. Year. Look he had what an happened. Afro a year. Yeah, <laughs> Full on fro. Thick. He had a whole bit about it. Look at this fro. <laughs> you know how long it takes to juice an afro? <laughs> 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 A long time is the answer. A damn long time. <laughs> you ever go to Cold Stone and <laughs> they smash up your ass 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 ass. <laughs> so They start smashing ice cream on your bald head and they say, I'm sorry, I thought you were a marble slab for a second. <laughs> that's where the hatred of people begins. I'm that's how it works. Listening. That's how it works. Okay. So well, you that's a good comedy tip for you though too, is I feel like really to make comedy happen these days is you need some more of out of the box concepts. Yeah. Marble slab on a bald head is a little bit more unique than I put a cheesesteak into a, into a, a blender. blender. You know, yeah. it's not bad. It's no. an entry level joke. It was juice, it sir, which is a little more contemporary. Fair enough. Than a blender. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> good point. Blender. Fair a little enough. more contemporary. Fair enough. <laughs> so, so a strong point. So, so Ben, you're on the road and yeah. you have your and you do obviously you're not finding uh, banana ice cream anywhere. Rare. So there was an amazing one I found in Vegas. There was this place at the uh, Harrah's Hotel, but they stopped the improv there where I used to play. So mm -hmm. I don't have a Vegas club right now, but 
um, there was this Asian ice cream place that would make it out of like bean, whatever, and it was completely healthy ice cream. It was incredible, like called something San, and they would it was like marble stone, but they would smash it in this bean base, and they had a banana and it was insane. But I haven't seen that since. Rarely do you find so a banana. banana bean ice cream. Yeah, the, yeah. You didn't taste the beans. It tasted like real ice cream, and it was I, healthy. I never knew bananas came from a bean. No, I they don't vanilla, come from no, vanilla. Vanilla comes from a bean. They're smashing they're the bean. They're smashing the bean. Do you even listen something? to what anyone is no, saying? But, but what bean are they smashing? I'm a not bean, that far a bean. What kind of bean? A, a, a garbanzo bean? Japanese red bean ice cream. Let me Japanese just say. Japanese red bean ice cream. Our chef, it's our, a red our, our bean. resident chef over here, Lee Abbott, says he's right. a finalist in All Star oh, Academy, right? by the way. Yes, he will tell okay. you that this, it's a. So, he should have been more specific. He's just going to this place with the end of San had, and, uh, <laughs> and they smash a bean. And I'm like trying. I'm well, getting, let me just say. I know you're a family man, so maybe you're, you're too yeah. far removed from this, but when my shows go really well, occasionally I get to smash a bean afterwards, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, okay. That one, one guy like uh, that. Uh, did our, does our chef have, have any... Uh, I mean, not anymore, but he used to. That's a, that's a red bean. You should always cover your smashed beans so you don't mm -hmm. get in trouble. Yep. So, so now, you, you, that's your comfort food, and we, you grew up in Beverly Hills with a, a mom who's South a Central great, Beverly Hills, a great, great cook. Co She's Israeli, and she makes all kinds of things. Ooh. Israeli salad, schnitzel, regular chicken, all kinds of ways, baked chicken. Oh. Uh, she kills it. I'm going to be very honest with She's you. She's the Jewish Forrest Gump. we got baked chicken, fried chicken. <laughs> she is. A lot of people refer to her as the Jewish Forrest Gump. The Jewish Forrest Gump. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to tell her you said that. Thank She's you so much. Forrest Hump. Okay, so now. <laughs> so, Ben. Forrest Hump. Have you learned how to make food? I have very rudimentary abilities in the, in the kitchen. I make a mean salad. <clears throat> I make a good smoothie. Uh, meat free and uh, I can you know I can put food onto a on I can barbecue a little bit I can put food onto the onto a pan on the on, on the stove top and I can cook it where I don't die and that's about it so now when you say barbecue you yeah. mean no grill. Outdoor, no outdoor barbecue and then grill. separately yeah, grilling. Grilling. What do you? Well, yeah. barbecue and you grilling are two it. completely oh, you different. You mean smoking it? But yeah. colloquially, people refer to barbecue and it's just putting it out on the barbecue. I right. totally agree. But how is it really that different? What if I'm closing the barbecue grill? Is it no, now is that barbecue, barbecue is a whole. It's got to be a smoker. It's a whole science. Right. I'm yeah. with you, Ben. Okay, I'm with you on this. It's when called, are you ever with me? No, never. I'm, no, I'm you're with never you. with me. I'm, I'm with you. There's someone between us, but I'm with you now. <laughs> So I'm saying I've never that felt it, more awkward. It's, in my life. It's, <laughs> it's called a barbecue. Yeah, that's what you go to. You buy. Right. They don't. They don't say, "Hey, look at these grillers for it's sale." It's called a grill, not a barbecue. No, it is called. It's, it's, called, it's called, called a both. grill. I know it's called both. I'm gonna Amazon it right now. We you, you, say barbecue grill, but it's yes. not. I'm gonna Amazon it. And you, I'm calling you can BS eat on barbecue, that. which is actually a type of food. It's it's called barbecue, right? Right. That's but the definition. Putting meat on a grill with some coals underneath is not barbecue. I'm gonna put a shrimp on the bobby for you. You ever ever heard of Australian? Heard ever met an Australian person? Yes, I that's did. Why do you hate Australian frame. people? Look, we found the first group he hates. <laughs> he hates the Australians. <laughs> Oh my so, God, how rude. Yeah, it's called prepositional phrase. It's on the bar. Prepositional Just search BBQ yes. on Amazon. Let's see what comes up. Don't phone. Don't. I'm on a podcast. Load. Right there. I put in BBQ. Two burner grill stove. <laughs> char broil performance style. Four yeah, none of it says barbecue. How about this one? Royal Gourmet Barbecue Charcoal Grill. Grill. See? Grill. Oh, it's got both in it's it. Got so both. We, we could all be most, right I will grant you, most do not say barbecue. That one has a steel barbecue wood pellet, but they also say smoker on those. You know, Ben, to mm. use your phrase, we could make peace with this. Yeah, I feel like we're and kind of a middle ground. We, we could come up with. Uh, yeah. I, I'm all, I'm all for middle ground. Okay. Okay. So, so your great way to get your comedy career going is just be real middle on the road on stuff. Let's pretend. You See, make now that could, you know, that could work as a barbecue. This is my point. Right, but that a and the grill is different. Mm, See, this and that's different. different. This thing right here is, is basically what I have. That's what it's on. It's and a it's grill. Charcoal based. These are, you clean a grill. You right. clean. It's called a it's cleaning a, a grill. barbecue. Okay. It's in the barbecue. I can't. You're blood, You're all red. I know. You're I don't like to be. I like to be right. And I will. I will bring. And you'll all, never be right. I will bring all veins. that a grill. I'll make you And bet. a barbecue are the same thing. You can't be I right. I wish don't. I could have put money on that. I would have won money. Yeah. I feel like you would have gotten even on the money. You would have just broken even. That's true. <laughs> you would have just broken even. That's not really any goal for a gambler. <laughs> 
I mean, it's not a bad month, but it's not but, your yeah, goal. Yeah, it's not a goal. Let me say this. Let me try to try to save our anger here towards barbecue <laughs> topics. Where do you think the best barbecue in the country is? Because I've, I've, I try to try barbecue. Oh, I know exactly. exactly that's a question. It's, I know it's, exactly. That's on the card. It's okay. on the card already. Yes, I, I, I have my. I should produce have, this podcast. You should. As God, a matter of fact, damn. we're looking at a new co-host. Okay, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> to replace which one of you? Me. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm, I'm sweating too much. Fair enough. So, Best great barbecue. question. Great yeah. question. Who I go first? did Who a TV series where we hit all the famous barbecue places. Ooh. Okay. And what did so you find? You're educated in this. There's a lot of great ones in Lockhart, Texas. There's Black's Barbecue. And they're all tremendous. Okay? Kreutz Barbecue. But if you cornered me, as much as they're hype, the hype is real. Franklin Barbecue has hands down What's that? the best barbecue. In what bar- city? Franklin, That's in Tennessee? Austin. Oh, in Austin? Yeah. But, okay, you go. It's a tough one. I, I had a pretty amazing barbecue in Alabama. These um, are types of barbecue, though. Yeah. They're all different. The oh, south yeah. is different oh, yeah. than the, than the well, southwest. Well, Kansas City barbecue Kansas is different City's than Texas. Different. And then I, I love St. Louis barbecue. They really kill it over there in St. Louis. But then I also believe Dallas and San Antonio, both mostly Dallas, I feel like the sub, suburbs of Dallas has some pretty great barbecue. Well, that would be Lockhart. The name. Yeah, Lockhart maybe, maybe it was Lockhart. Lockhart, it's a small little town. Yeah. And all it is is barbecue. You have Kreutz, you have, and I've been to Salt Lake. Paper covering the know. table. Salt Lake's good. Salt Paper Lake covering the great. table. You just get like a little sampler of a little bit of everything. The ribs, oh. you get your chicken, you get your but what's, all the sides. But here's the thing with barbecues. What's at the base of the ones that you like? Is it a tomato base? I don't like sauce on a barbecue. Oh, like I don't like any meat. I don't then. like any plant based. It's plant based. It's plant based. <laughs> <laughs> They're actually they cows rub, they made rub, of they plants. They rub weed on it. So, so I'm interested. They smoke weed, the cows. <laughs> so wait and a then we That's hear. interesting. Instead of grass-fed beef, grass-smoked beef. Yes. What if you get a cow's high for the first five, ten years of their life, then you eat them? I wonder if you'd residually get like a little. Well, they're at tender. Least, at least you, you would get CBD, but maybe some THC residual. Yeah. Yeah. They'd be tender too, because all they do is lay around all yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. They just want to get some more humane way to do it. Exactly. I'm going to kill you now. Yeah, do your thing. Do whatever, <laughs> whatever you got to do, do, man. You realize I'm, I'm okay. tempted to not even air the episode because we have two inventions now. We might come up with five more by the time. What's the other We have banana ice cream. Business. Business. Right. And now we have a business of. <laughs> smoking Smoke. cows, smoking literally cock. smoking cows, smoking smoking cows, literally yeah. smoking cows. Yeah, joints hanging out of their mouth. Tony, do a bit about it. Go ahead. Let's see if you can ad lib a bit. Co- don't put me under that kind come of pressure. On, come on, I've taught you for a while. Do something like you know, pretend you're high and you're a cow. Go ahead. Let's, hey, come, come on. over here. Crack. <laughs> Squeeze my teeth. Squeeze my teeth. <laughs> that's not, that's, you Squeeze did it with the teeth. same accent as you do all. all what do you want me to do? A cow? How yeah, do, do a how cow? How does a cow speak? Easy like this. What, cow, what LSD are you doing? That you heard cows talk. I don't know how they speak, but they definitely do this move. <laughs> they do yeah. that a lot. See, Tony, you could have committed, to the, those, commit committed to, the to the character. Committed to the character. What are you afraid you of? Don't always do everything. I'm hey, so yo, afraid of. Moo. Hey, Moo. You don't do every single thing with your I'm hand. not saying. Hey, that. I'm saying Moo. Give me some pot. You do something. You do I'm not something saying Tony's in. not fully committing to his comedy career here, but apparently an episode you guys recently did had an audio issue, so we all had to hold, handhold mics, and Tony's like, I don't want to hold a microphone. That's the whole job of stand-up comedy, is holding a microphone. Tony's like, I'm not interested. I'm not holding this thing. I'm doing it. <laughs> He's dropped the mic I before he even starts. I want to project. Excellent. Project to the crowd. Good okay. luck playing small venues the rest of your life. <laughs> Good luck being on camera. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. They're at home going, I can't hear them. Fat you know, it's bad enough. I have two people ganging up on me in this episode. I want the world to see that. Listen. The peanut gallery is here for you. L- listen. Try the bit. Just, just try a cow who has been Smoking getting high me. with Ben Glebe. L- l- go. And action. <laughs> What are you, Stanislavski method? Moo. <laughs> he's still Moo. dead. He's still dead. He's got the hands. Moo. He's they got, got the inti- and it's an Italian it cow. Moo. 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 Hey, moo you. Hey, squeeze this, all right? <laughs> Everything's got to be. Feed me from more the, grass. Everything has to be from the Sopranos. Have the guy. Crazy, Netflix just offered him a special. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I don't know how. 
He's got a certain thing. People loved it. I could see Instant the Netflix feedback. people now. He has this bit, an Italian cow getting high. It's un- it's unbelievable. Actually, you know the first bit I ever did in comedy was... The Italian cow guy, dude. Italian- I love it. Oh, okay, look at this. What is this? You didn't know what you were getting into. So this is spicy chilled shrimps. Spicy Ooh. chilled shrimps. I love there's two dishes for the three of us. About what do we do now? 20 minutes ago, these were at Costco. <laughs> and, and they... And they got- well, when you were talking about shrimps, I thought this would probably be Love that's, it. That's, Love it. This is Chris from the Sunset Market. Hello, Chris. Hello, Chris. Nice Great welcome. to have you. By the way, this shows Great that he to listened. you to have us, I meant to say. He's been listening <laughs> because he brought, this is a callback. Tony, do that's you know what a callback incredible. is? Well, are, you, are you talking to me as if I've not been in the entertainment business well, for 35 you years? No, comedy. You've done some movies, haven't you? 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 Uh, yes, 27. Oh, Don't prompt him into his credits. 27 <laughs> you features. 27 yeah. features? Yes. Any of them that have been aired? Invincible. Yes. Invincible? Yes. G- He's got a big part in that. That's incredible. Yeah. Good for you, he man. He plays the big eagle that goes, fight, eagles, fight. No, I do And he does it like that. this. <laughs> Like this. Moo, 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 So moo. cow is not a strong suit, but eagles is where he's Eagles oh, where I really shine. Yeah, that's Philadelphia. Yeah, so, so I'm assuming so this is, is finger food. We talked about shrimp. Okay. Do you eat finger food in Philly? Yes, of course. I'm, 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 with I'm, third world country I'm, I'm Philly. I'm prompting you to maybe do a bit about finger food. How many fingers are in it? I'm from the mob. You know, something like that. <laughs> You're implying there's we all have, the fingers have, cut three, off. We have three-fingered shrimp is what we eat. <laughs> it started oh. as five-fingered shrimp. Oh. Three-fingered <laughs> shrimp. There you go. See? Break See, you up, thought you were just going to do a pot. You didn't know you were going to eat. No, I didn't know. I didn't know. They said they are going to no, bring out the shrimp. That much I didn't know. Put the shrimp on top of the tortilla. You have to bring here. Break. Grab one end. Ah, make a wish. There you go. You want that one? Here. All right. So. Ben, you first. Ben Glebe, our guest. Very excited. You go first. This is wow. This really looks great. That's the problem with the mic, though, it's hard to two-handed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll hold it for you. Thank you very much. Go. So put a little that. Yes. Schmutz on yeah, top. So gotta, the, 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 food, the show schmutz. is called Comedy Kitchen, and yep. food and comedy have a lot in common. Well, they're both creative. That's you that's know. very that's very. True. I love what walking else? into the kitchen at comedy clubs, You're right? Because it's a chance to live a life I don't get to live, and I just discovered something 20 years into my comedy career that I wish I'd thought of a long time ago. I just went into the kitchen in Minnesota, the Rick Bronson clubs. Yes. I don't know if you play those clubs in. Arizona and Minnesota and Edmonton, the comic strip and the House of Comedy, have the best kitchens, the best food really? in all of the country. Wow. That is a great topic, by oh, the way. Oh, it's so good. And I go into the kitchen, there is a bucket of bacon, soft, like not fully, fully cooked, but soft bacon. I said to the chef, like, what's this? He's like, that's ready to eat. We're just, we would put it on the grill a little longer before we bring it out. And he's like, you can have it. And I, once I learned that, I had about 12 pieces of bacon that night. <laughs> I'm hitting up the, those bacon buckets now in these clubs. Oh, Tony. Comedians, we love the free too. Oh my God! It's, it's practically I our didn't pay. Know that. I'll starve until Open dinner. Up for you, I never figured that out. <laughs> I give them all the tips. <laughs> oh, I say you bring nice. a bag with you. You, say you pretend it's for your computer, but it's really you keep it as empty as possible because you get all the you know the cashews and the nuts that they put backstage. Is that, oh, do you have a writer I, by the way? Do you know what a writer is? I, I a writer. A writer. Do you know what a writer is? Yeah, like what you're supposed to get when you're there. Yes, you make right. a deal on a writer. I, I not only yes. don't have a writer, I also don't steal the cashews from the green room. <laughs> oh, he's notorious. Oh, I don't like that word, steal. It, they give us. He's they notorious for okay. that. All right, you're on the road, you go to a hotel, do you take the shampoo? Is no. that stealing? No. You don't. I don't can't believe he's got shampoo. disdain of on stuff that I just, <laughs> just consider normal. You gave me a look of disdain that I take I mean, the I shampoo. I don't steal the shampoo from the hotels. I own a bottle it's of shampoo not, at home. It's not stealing, okay? I'm not saying oh, it's stealing. They gave it because they want you to take it home. But wait a second, okay. I if love you that. Only, so, if they, they want you to take the towels if you, if, and the pillows I didn't say towels. and the blind. They want you. Why else would they put their name on it? It's advertising for them. <laughs> Actually, if you stay at a Hilton or a Hyatt, See? Hyatt, you get an H and you just tell someone these are his and hers. I like that. Wow, you've been doing this a long time. Yeah, for Mother's Day, you got Marriott. <laughs> <laughs> I brought this stuff out. I like that. So, so go, go ahead, take a bite. I only steal those shampoos if it's like a particularly fancy hotel nice. and they got like a nice kind of boutique brand, then occasionally I'll take it. And Once by the way, it goes for all the accoutrements that they give you. But it has to be the, the twist tops. It can't be like the pop open tops. Yeah, because they open up and yeah. It's right. got to no. be twist. Okay, but the higher end places Are you like the Sunset it's Marquee, pop it's all about class and Sunset And you want to know why you're not staying here? Why no one offers your room to stay they, here? They put you're here. just admitting and, that and you I steal. To, do all guests of your podcast get a free night stay here? They get free shampoo. 
Well, that's that's <laughs> not close at all. I am very upset that is right not now. I'm really upset at all. that other people think that this is stealing with the shampoo. What? Okay, so it's halfway finished. Is it? Do I have to keep it there They're so gonna somebody else can you're use it? Right. They're, They're going to throw, throw it away. Right. So why? Let me ask you the biggest question. What's that? You're done at a hotel. Yeah. It's time for you to check out. Yeah. You leave a twenty dollar bill on the table? No. Twenty? No. You don't leave a twenty on the table. How many nights are you there? It doesn't matter. You always leave it matters. for the Tony, Tony, $20, it that would, be, that would be a month's stay. <laughs> well, a month I do stay. leave money, but and not 20 And most of the time, I tell them, don't come to my room. Oh, I yeah. Them, I never right? let them in ever. No, oh, I never ever, let them in ever. either. I got a, I got a piece. So and I love it. Only 20? in California, if yeah. there's no do not disturb, it's right. peace. That's what, I want peace. That's what his, well, they all try to get clever with it. <laughs> yes. We're rocking, don't come a knock it. It's a hard rock <laughs> hotel. They like to really get, I'm getting my beauty sleep. Don't disturb the prince. Like, just say do not disturb. <laughs> yeah. Getting creative on me. I don't like that. But I'll leave a five, and I never let them come in during it. So they're cleaning just basically one night stay. I keep it pretty tidy. I leave a five. See, I don't. I'm a pig. My everything's laid out, towels everywhere. You're basically so I leave them a twenty. To deal with your piggishness. Yeah, I give them. I leave them a twenty. Well, fair enough. Yeah. I mean, look, I don't. I don't let let them come in. Not because I don't trust housekeeping any less than other people. I just don't trust most Wait, people. Any less Nobody, than other people. Yeah, I just don't trust most people at all. I'm and most you. people don't. Most of you don't, except you go to a hotel, you're like, hey, come on in, even if I'm gone, rifle through my stuff. That's true. If I've you been... think my nightgown should be in the shape of a swan, <laughs> go ahead and do it. <laughs> what? No, stay out of my business. I'm eating. Me too. Oh, this, oh you can hear that bite. That's oh my god. Oh, I got an oh my god mm. over here. What do we got? Mm. We got a mm over here. Mm. Okay, I'm going with you too here. Mm. That was outstanding. Mm. For me, I'm gonna get a holy shit. That's a really good. Holy shit. Ah, I, want, I wanted that one. He's stealing, ah. my, he's stealing my shrimp. Well, you know mm. how good it is. Mm. Sunset Marquis has absolutely unbelievable, the highest quality. As a matter of fact, we're gonna have chefs on our show. Mm. Are we? From here, yeah. Oh. I can't wait to see the chefs, the highfalutin chefs dealing with cheesesteak king over here. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Talking about douce. First of all, I don't know what slay? comics are like, but chefs really have a mutual respect for each other. We don't have that at all. And we care about <laughs> each other. <laughs> you <kidding? laughs> <laughs> Tony, welcome to comedy. All right, um, we're, 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 gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna end it because we don't want to talk with our mouths open, okay? With, with our mouths full of food, it is delicious food. Sunset Marquee, we love it here. Comedy oh wait, can I plug something real quick? We're gonna get to that, Ben. God damn it, I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> Why are you yelling at the guests? Well, you're telling them like you're wrapping up. I, I, like I, wrapping I hope up. they repeat that. I hope we show that. Uh, he yelled at me. Hey, I got I something did. to promote. No, I didn't say I that. didn't hear a yell. I got to tell you. I heard a yell. It was in my ear, Tony. I he's honestly, he's very touchy. Yeah, well, he's usually siding tough. with you now. Well, at the very end, I'm siding with you. Thank you. I think your joke about the blender is top notch. By the way, you know our reactor watches? I want him over. You know our reactor watches that we all have? This yes. is a really weird coincidence. Okay, mm -hmm. we all have reactor watches on Comedy Kitchen, the series. Yeah. You'll, you'll get one mm -hmm. because your aunt Elaine works there. So it's the oh, wow. strangest coincidence. Small world. She goes, Do you know Benny? <laughs> He's Benny to her. Basically, an aunt. Ben not, Glebe. Not family, family. How but. do we find you? I'm sure it's not BennyGlebe.com. How do we find you? Are you sure the plugs are okay? Or is I'm still overstepping <laughs> my bounds. That was the lead. As much so. as I enjoy a free shrimp, I like to get the word out about my career. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh my God. We validate, by the way. <laughs> oh, good. Thank God. Um, That's important. You can follow me on social media at Ben Glebe, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and my Showtime Hour special, mm. Neurotic Gangster. I just convinced the producers to put it for free on YouTube. I want everybody oh, wow. to see it. So my hour special's on YouTube. Search Ben Glebe Gangster or Glebe Gangster or whatever. It'll pop right up. It's in five parts, the whole thing. And I just put up five hour long, all crowd work hours that I did on Facebook a few years ago. Millions of views, put them all on YouTube as well. Wow. So you can get hours of my comedy for free. And you can get my Game Show Idiot Test on Netflix and Game Show Network. That's so right. check all that Idiot out. Idiot Test on Game Show Network. He's the host of that. He's got a lot going on. I know he has a lot Couple going on. And he actually there. Oh, and my podcast, he, Last Week on Earth. And Last he came of, here. I summarize the world for you every single week. What does that tell you? So you don't have to watch the news because the news is a bunch of bullshit. Right. right. I summarize it for you. You get the facts and I'll make you and laugh. And it's all corporately sponsored. So therefore, they yeah. only choose things that they want you to choose. Yeah. And you, of course, no do everything sponsor. for free. My numbers are so, so low. So. I get no ads. There's no corporate <laughs> influence on my podcast. Exactly. This I keep the numbers low and I pass the, the <laughs> discount to you. Intentionally. Anyway, mm -hmm. thanks for joining us. Tony Lou, Craig Shoemaker. Ben Glebe, our special guest. We'll see you next time on Comedy Kitchen. Mm -hmm.
Doing great. Awesome. That was a great shot.